Hey, how's it going guys? This is going to be a real quick video showing you some of the new mouse and keyboard features and the Chronos Zen 32-bit update. So as you may have noticed, we have a new MNK settings tab on the main screen of Zen Studio. Since I'm a mouse guy, I'm going to flip over to MNK settings. Uh, we have ballistics curves. Um, you can actually copy and paste curves from the, uh, the Zen devices to use with your Chronos Zen now. The, uh, the mouse settings have been completely revamped. It feels absolutely amazing now. Um, I haven't touched my Zen in months. Like this is pretty much exactly where it needs to be. So first up, I'm going to go over how to map your mouse and keyboard keys and buttons to the corresponding controller buttons. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be using Call of Duty Warzone as an example. Uh, so I'll be mapping and setting everything up according to that. So if you notice you have button labels over here. This is what your uh, mouse or keyboard key that you set. That's the button that will activate on your controller. If you're playing on PC or an Xbox console, you'll use the Xbox button labels. If you're on a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5, you can use these button labels if you like. But uh, for since I'm playing on PC, I'm going to be using the Xbox button. So the first thing I like to do is either open a screenshot of the default in-game controls or open the game in the background and see what they're set to and uh, you know either have it on the second monitor or take a screenshot myself for reference. So the left trigger, this is going to be our aim down sight button. Generally I want that to my right click so if we double click this blue box here, it's now listening. I can tap the right mouse button and it's mapped my Xbox One left trigger to the right mouse button. And then according to my in-game controls, this is my ADS button. The right trigger is what's used to fire. I want this as my left mouse button. So I'm gonna double click this and then click the left mouse button. This is clicking down the left thumbstick. Uh, this is the sprint in game. So I'm going to double click that. I want sprint to be shift. So I'm gonna press shift. R is clicking down the right thumbstick. That's gonna be my melee. So double click the melee. I like to use V for that. Then we have the left bumper and the right bumper. I like those to be Q and E. So Q, E, and then we have our A, B, X, and Y buttons here. A is to jump, I like that to be spacebar, B is to crouch, I like that to be C, X is to swap weapons I believe, no X is to reload, I like that to be R, Y is to swap weapons, or if you hold Y you can uh, Put on your armor plates so i like the scroll wheel up to switch weapons so click my scroll wheel up next i have the d-pad have up down left and right i like my arrow keys to do that now i have my uh, menu and share button for menu i like to use escape for share i like to use the number one and then my Xbox key, I like to use the Windows button. So all of my primary controls are now set up. I can finalize my layout. And now these settings are saved onto the Zen itself. This secondary tab here is a second button that will activate the same controller button. So, for example, how I've set my mouse wheel up to Y. Um, in Warzone, you have to hold down Y to apply your armor plates. And I don't want to sit there and have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to try to simulate that it's holding a button down. Because when you scroll the scroll wheel, it you know, mimics the press. That's kind of a pain to do. So, I like that to be the F button. I also like to use this back button right here on my mouse to crouch. So I'm going to click that. And then D-pad down. 
I'm going to go ahead and use mouse wheel down. So let's move over to the movement tab. All right, so once we're in the movement tab, you can see these icons here with the little L and the directional arrows. This is telling you that it's moving the left thumbstick up, the left thumbstick left, right, and down. And this, the symbol of the little walking guy here is to set a walk button. You also have a walk speed modifier. And what this allows you to do is simulate somebody um, only holding the thumbstick part of the way forward so that your in-game character can walk slowly um, and w without you making any footstep sounds. So to control the left thumbstick, I generally like my WASD buttons for that. And then I use the left control for my walk button. So we'll go ahead and get these set. And then for my walk speed, I want that to be about 40%. This will allow me to walk forwards without going too slow, but just slow enough to where my footsteps are really quiet in game or possibly they, they will not hear them at all. We also have this controller tab over here. If you're using something such as the uh, PlayStation 3 Navcon, a flight stick or something similar, you can uh, also use that in combination with your mouse so that you can use the controller in your left hand and the mouse in your right. And this is where you would set all of uh, your controller mappings if you wish to do something like that. Uh, I use mouse and keyboard, so I'm not going to be using any of these settings here. Once you're happy with all of your mappings and you feel this is set how you want it to be, you can go ahead and finalize the layout and this will save all of these mappings onto your device so that when you play the game, your keyboard key activates the correct controller button. After you have this finished, the next step is to begin tuning your mouse. Um, this is a little bit more in depth, so I'll be doing a second video on this. Um, the mouse and keyboard settings are absolutely awesome now. I've been testing this for a few months uh, since its early alpha stages, and this is absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys are going to be really happy with this. If there's any other questions or comments, please drop them down. Uh, please drop them down in the uh, in the comment section below. And as always, like this video if you've liked it, and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to do more of my videos.